All right, I'd like to show you where to find the Salesforce Administrator Trail Mix. Now, if you go to trailhead.salesforce.com and then click on Credentials and select Certifications, you'll want to go to the Administrator section. That's where you land is the Administrator Overview. And here are the different admin-related credentials. So we want to click on Administrator, and then just below the Get the Exam Guide link, you'll find a Trail Mix for preparing for your Salesforce Administrator credential. A few other things of note while we're here is that there's a Trail Study for the Admin Certification Exam as well as an interactive practice test that Salesforce provides. So you can get a practice test for free here on Trailhead. But back to this Trail Mix, you'll notice that it has an estimated completion time of 68 hours and 25 minutes. So there's a good amount of work involved in going through all the different trails involved on this Trail Mix. And once you complete this, you will have attained 57,000 more points. So one, you'll need to be logged in to complete these, but there's links for the admin exam overview. And then these things marked as tasks. I just want to mention these are not actual tasks that you need to perform. This is just a separator for the different knowledge areas in the actual exam. So configuration setup is the first knowledge area, and it has a weighting of 20% of your total score. And then you'll find individual modules and projects and the amount of points and the amount of time needed to complete these. And the idea behind these trail mixes are that Salesforce has created this as a curated path through Trailhead to cover all the content that you need to understand and master in order to pass the admin exam. Now also, you as an individual can create your own trail mixes as well. And so if you have some study paths that you think would be helpful for people, you can look into creating your own trail mix. But you'll see here that there's a lot of different links and modules, et cetera, to be found. And then you'll notice the second knowledge area here is denoted by another task, and it's Object Manager and Lightning App Builder exam weight 20%, and just continuing on. And you'll notice that these particular modules and projects have to do with objects and things around field types, et cetera, Lightning App Builder formulas, validations. And then we get into sales and marketing applications, and then I think service and support is next. And so you'll just notice the orange task designations, productivity and collaboration, which you get in activity management as well as chatter, Salesforce mobile app customizations, app exchange basics. And then we get into data and analytics management. That's data management and analytics management, which analytics management would be reports and dashboards. And they're going through data management first, duplicate management, importing and exporting with data management tools. And here's a Salesforce video tutorial as well. So you'll find different things, not just modules or projects, but also links. Like, for instance, watch this particular video. You don't have to do all these in order. You can kind of mix and match and go backwards if you want. But the structure of the exam guide, I'll say, is logical in that it starts with org setup, then user setup, then security and access. And so I would recommend that you follow the order if you're committed to doing the trail mix to just go through it in the order that they've designed. And then you'll also find some super badges here. Here's the Lightning Experience Reports and Dashboard Specialist. And then we're getting into workflow and process automation knowledge area. That's where you get into workflow rules and a process builder and flows and approval processes as well. And even though Salesforce is planning on making flows their primary and singular process automation tool, there you'll find content around process builder and workflow rules in the trail mix because those are still on the exam. And then finally, a few other things, additional preparation as far as order of execution of processes link. A project, this would be more supplemental work, is they take you through building a battle station app that gets you more hands-on experience in building an application. And then even a super badge around business administration specialists and trail. And that trail for the study for the admin certification exam, that's one hour and 40 minutes. That was on this prior screen here study for the administrator certification exam, one hour, 40 minutes. So this is contained inside of this trail mix here. So you will hit this if you just go through the trail mix also. Thought I would mention that additionally. So all in all, these are topics that will be helpful for you in working towards passing the exam. Many of my students mentioned that they feel that even though Trailhead is helpful for hands-on experience, they like having the video-based tutorials that I've created in my courses. And that's kind of why I exist is because you can read and follow along, but a lot of times it helps to be shown in video format how to do certain things. And so that's why I create video-based courses. Now here's other projects such as approval processes, process builders, flows, additional preparation, and back where we were here. Now also you'll find not only this, what I was just talking about with the one hour and 40 minutes of this trail for study for the administrator certification exam, we've got administrator certification prep, interactive practice test, as well as a full practice test. So you will want to avail yourself of those resources as well. 
There's also webinars often for Salesforce certification days. It's a half day webinar. They typically don't record those and give you the replay, the ideas for you to attend that live. They do send out a promo code for uh, savings on your certification exams as well. So it's worth uh, signing up for that if for nothing else to get that promo code to save some money on your certification test, but also some helpful material on there as well. It's kind of a, intended as a review when you feel like you're ready to take the certification exam. This alone would not be enough to pass the exam, but it's more to kind of refresh yourself on these different topics and identify things that you may not be clear on. And then as well, here's prepare for your administrator certification exam. This is optional instructor-led course, eight hours, does cost money, and you get more details on that as well. So even though this is saying that 68 some odd hours for all this, you don't have to do every single thing such as this particular paid course for eight hours, but this is a curated path from Salesforce to help prepare you for the Salesforce Administrator Certification Exam and get more hands-on experience and also get a lot of points on Trailhead as well. And so best of luck on the exam to you. Be sure and check out my courses as well at MikeWitherMedia.com. And if you found this particular video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce, and it just might be my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.